We're going panel. to bring in our panel. We have Brett Barry, chief political anchor and anchor of Special Report, Fox News at Night anchor Shannon Bream, and former DNC chairwoman and Fox News contributor Donna Brazil. It's great to have you all here. Shannon, I understand that you just got off the phone with Senator Lindsey Graham. Any, anything more to report? I did, yeah. He talked about how they played golf this morning. He said what they had for lunch. The president had a turkey wrap. Everybody seemed relaxed and happy. Then this thing comes out, and Lindsey Graham says, basically, as he's standing there, uh, there's a lot of excitement. He called it a home run for the president. He felt like this report could not have gone any better for him than it did. Uh, he says no collusion, no obstruction. He said it was a big day of celebrating for the president, uh, and he felt like they had a great day anyway, that the president was very relaxed. They were enjoying golf uh, this morning. Uh, but once that report came, it sounded like a great sense of relief for the president and those who are surrounding him. Again, uh, Lindsey Graham's words, home run. He says it's really going to be hard for Democrats at this point to um, make any hay out of this. Now, listen, we know, as we've all discussed, there are other things they may look towards impeachment, some of the things going on in the Southern District with federal prosecutors. But on this point, the collusion narrative that's been going on for two years, uh, completely disproven, debunked, it appears by the special counsel uh, and a big day of relief for the president. Indeed. Since we've just reset it, we started uh, this hour, Brett Baird, I just want to go to you for some overall thoughts before we get um, some good ones from Donna Brazil as well. Brett. Yeah, sure. I think that the, the bottom line here is the, the first conclusion of this report that no American, no one tied to the Trump campaign, no American colluded or conspired with the Russians to affect the 2016 election. That is said three times in this short letter summarizing the special counsel's report. And that is the bottom line. That's why this investigation started. Now, on the obstruction, it's interesting to see the news reports, Dana, in the past few minutes that start with the president not exonerated mm. by special counsel Mueller. Uh, right. It says that they did not reach a conclusion on uh, the obstruction of justice, but the attorney general and the deputy attorney general did and said there is no reason to go forward with any crime uh, against the president. And they had determined that because there was no underlying crime of the conspiracy, they would not move forward with obstruction. Yeah, changed it. Is that okay? All right. Um, Donna Brazil, um, this is your first chance to comment um, on this news since it has just broken. Um, your thoughts um, from your, your personal perspective. Uh, and then I'll get some uh, from you about what you think Democrats ought to do next. Well, thanks so much for having me on. Uh, let me just say I am uh, totally gratified that uh, the special counsel was able to complete his report. I want to say, uh, I, I guess I only speak for myself, that I'm gratified that he did the work uh, to interview uh, those Americans, to uh, get behind the, the stories, the gossip, the innuendos, and to tell us. And for me, I'm personally relieved that no American uh, personally got involved in the Russian hacking of our elections. And the Russians attempted to destroy our democracy and weaken our democracy. I have to personally say that because, as you know, Dana, mm -hmm. uh, I became chair of the Democratic Party because of the hacking. Um, so now that that part is known, and I am not seeing uh, those of us who said for many, many years now that the Russians were involved and that this had an impact on our ability to conduct uh, the election. Maybe we can, you know, put that also as a victory uh, for democracy. But democracy today is still uh, on trial. Uh, and while the president can assume some sort of victory, that is personally in his purview. I think as our president, he needs to understand that this rises above just himself and his party. But it calls upon us as Americans to look at ourselves and say, okay, the Russians were at it. Yeah. They did not get us. But the president of the United States now needs to understand that our democracy must be protected. If he's able to do that, then mm -hmm. the victory is not his victory. It is our victory because okay. we sought to protect our country. I, I, I'm I think overall, yes, and maybe in a few days, that's how people might, might feel. Although, but the, but the Democrats have said, um, even this morning, uh, Chairman Nadler saying, we don't, regardless of what's in the Mueller report, we're going to continue, uh, we're going to pursue all this. We think that there is collusion. We're going to go forward with impeachment. Um, do you think that is wise and necessary, or would you say that the Democrats ought to figure out a way to accept this report and move on? I think the Constitution of the United States gives the Democrats or Republicans the power of oversight. And this is about oversight. This is not just about gossip and innuendos and some partisan line that we have to poll. This is about 
uh, oversight. There, it's their constitutional responsibility. Again, I do believe that the Democrats, their hearts are in the right place, which is how do we protect our country, how do we protect our democracy, and how do we move forward? And this will require the Democrats to be careful in, in their evaluation of the report, which we have not seen, and to understand that we must protect our country from future hackings. Donna, real quick question for me, and then I want to get back to Brett and, and Shannon as well. Do you now accept the president as the legitimate president of the United States, having won the 2016 election fair and square? I believe that the president and his attacks on not just his opponent, but the way in which he's conducted himself in office as our president, not the Republican president, not his base, he has to prove that he is worthy of the job that George Washington held over 230 years ago. I, I am now, I will say this to the president, Mr. President, this is the woman you attacked, called me a liar for talking about the Russian investigation during the campaign when we were being attacked. I'm willing to accept the fact that you had nothing to do with it. If only you will spend the next 589 days in office doing everything in your office and your power as the president of the United States to protect us from future hacking once again. I'm willing to play, but don't mm -hmm. ask me now to celebrate when I am still feeling the hurt and the pain of what happened in 2016. And I, I'm only speaking for Donna. I, I want to hear from Hillary. I want to hear from everyone else involved, mm -hmm. Bernie, and everybody who got burnt and, and beaten by the crap but Donna, that we saw. Pardon me one second, but Donna, on the point of what you acknowledged a moment ago, that no American, Trump official or otherwise, was involved, will that, you that acknowledge is, he won the election? I will, I will, look, I can't, I, I played the game. I don't go back and relitigate 22,000. Right. I'm not going to relitigate 2016. Ed, if I want to relitigate anything, uh, I want to relitigate when I was 21 years old, because this is what it looks like when you're 59. I ain't relitigating anything but my okay. age. Let's relitigate how we protect. Once upon a time, when someone won, we thought about our country first. And if we really believe in that, this is the moment we can all rise to the occasion. But, Ed, let mm -hmm. me say this again as an American. I accept the fact that the president had no finger in it. Mm -hmm. But did he move a hand to ever stop okay. it? And did he put something in the game to yeah. make sure it never happened again? Okay. That's how I will judge him. Okay. Now, that's just Donna. Donna. I can't speak okay. for nobody else yet. Uh, okay. Let me go back to Brett. Uh, Brett, uh, how, having heard that, do you think this president now, Brett, tries to move forward uh, and bring the country together? Listen, Ed, I, I hear what Donna's saying, but you have to understand that a lot of members of Donna's party really hammered this even just days ago, saying that there is a mountain of evidence of collusion. There's clear evidence of collusion from Adam Schiff. I think there's clearly an intent to collude. Uh, Tom Perez, a mountain of evidence of collusion. You had uh, Brennan, the former CIA director, saying there will be indictments, possibly of the president's children um, in mm -hmm. coming days. That's just days ago on the air. And mm -hmm. these, this, he was in office as the CIA director at the beginning of all of this. So there is, a, there is a side of it that has to be ironed out post this determination. Uh, there are a lot yeah. of people uh, that have, you know, a lot of crow to eat after Absolutely. they've said what they've said in just the last couple of days. As you say, yeah. Two years ago, Adam Schiff yeah. said he had evidence of collusion. Evidence, not allegations. And former White House Chief of Staff uh, Andy uh, uh, Card used to say, uh, if you're going to have to eat, if you're going to eat crow, you better eat it fast because it doesn't get taste any better the longer point, it sits. Uh, Brett, look uh, quick, last point. I disagree about the no, crow. I'm just, I, 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 okay. Go ahead, Donna. Br 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 we, this is not about crow, steak, chicken, or crawfish. This is really about our country. I mean, this is a moment. Now, if we keep talking about crow, who's going to eat it? I, I, I can no, tell I'm you. I'm talking about. Yeah, we, we, we better don't, get doesn't into the, the president the, feel let Brett that he has had been hindered in his, in his ability to do his job by an entire effort to undermine his legitimacy? And now you have a definitive word from somebody who spent a lot of resources, almost $30 million over two years, that comes to a conclusion. And doesn't that mean that you have to move on and start 
working on legislation we, and not we, investigation? Well, first of all, we have to evaluate it. We, we, we were told just a few minutes ago what was in the report. We have not seen any of the summaries. I mean, I want to believe when I heard from that young man, Mr. Gibson, that the Russians had no help from Americans. I want to believe that. And because I understand Mr. Mueller interviewed 500 people, had 2,900 subpoenas, I want to believe that that occurred. And I trust the fact, because I, I have never spent one day on air or off mm -hmm. air criticizing the Justice Department of the United States government. The president has. All I'm asking, Brad, is to give the American people an opportunity to absorb this information. We should all celebrate the fact I that no American, no American, we because all let agree. me tell you, yep. all that right, is that's good. Great. Let's go beyond that, and we can get there. All right, all right. Donna Brazil, uh, Brett Baer, we also had Shannon Bream. Thank you so much.